Rest in peace Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II has sadly passed away. For many years I enthusiastically studied the royal family, from Queen Victoria to the present day. Many younger Britons are unaware of the tale of the her uncle, King Edward VIII, the king that abdicated his throne after falling for the American divorcee Wallace Simpson, the act of abdication changed a young girl's future forever. Elizabeth, fondly nicknamed Lilibet, was the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, who later became King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. She had an idyllic childhood with her best friend, her sister Margaret. But due to the abdication of her uncle King Edward, her father was thrust into taking the throne. This changed the young Elizabeth's path. Her father, a rather shy gentleman who never wanted to be king, rose to the challenge. He was a voice of reason, calm and patriotism throughout the Second World War. This set a great example for the future young queen. It was proposed that the young princesses, Elizabeth and Margaret, should be evacuated to Canada to avoid the frequent aerial bombings of London by the Luftwaffe. This was strongly rejected by her mother, who was famous for saying, the children won't go without me. I won't leave without the king. And the king will never leave. The royal family at this time became adored by the public for their bravery during Britain's darkest hour. They toured the ruins of London at the height of the Blitz to show solidarity with the people. Elizabeth herself at this time felt a great obligation to do something for her country, so despite the disapproval of many royal advisers, the young princess trained as a driver and mechanic, to do her bit for the nation. She was crowned on 2 June 1953. This was a mighty job for a young mother, who became queen at a time when Britain was still suffering the financial and emotional hardship due to the war, not to mention whilst the British Empire was in a rapid decline. Despite these obstacles and hardships, she did her duty, and she did it well. Never to moan, never a moment of escapism or defeatism, she remembered her father's example of one who stands up for the nation they serve. The Queen has had over 170 individuals, serve as Prime Ministers of her various realms throughout her reign. The first new appointment was Dudley Senoniak as Prime Minister of Ceylon, and the most recent being Liz Truss as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Queen Elizabeth II has met every U.S. President since Harry Truman, with the exception of Lyndon Johnson. The number of states headed by Queen Elizabeth II has varied during her 70 years on the throne, altogether seeing her as sovereign of a total of 32 independent countries during this period. Today is a sad day for the people of Britain. A queen who has reigned for 70 years has passed and new chapter begins. Whilst there are critics of her reign, of her family, I'd like to pay my deepest heartfelt respect to a woman who was thrust into a life she didn't choose, into a role she never expected, yet served with grace, strength and dignity for seventy long years. On behalf of Britain first, we send our prayers to her loved ones in these difficult times. Yours sincerely. Ashley Simon. Chairman, Britain first.